I would bet the house that Death Note will be here very soon as a full production and followed closely by this one. No question. And then coming to New York. First of all, I'll say this. I, I've had 25 shows in Tokyo. Uh, this is the biggest hit I've ever had there. And it hasn't had the longevity yet of Jekyll and Hyde or Scarlet Pimpernel, but it will. But as far as just, I run and we ran at 111%. I mean, it was just amazing what happened. And they're doing it in Seoul this summer as well. And I think it's happening so fast around the world as it is because of the themes of the show. It's a love letter to music. It's how music heals us, how music gives us the memories in our, our lives. The show is about the bridge between childhood and adulthood. Sometimes it's a, between the bridge between heaven and earth. And it just has these massive themes that everybody can relate to and a very unique score in that it represents my music, but it also has great, great classical music that we all know. And so the show itself introduces young people to classical music in a very hip way. The show's obviously set in a concert setting, so music is inherent in the piece, and I think that lends itself obviously to musical in the easiest way. And Frank's score is absolutely gorgeous and clever, and uh, it's a real emotional journey. This show happens so fast than any other show I've ever written. So the Japanese producers came to my home in New York. I sat at the piano, I played them the score. Usually I then do demos in English and then they get translated to Japanese. But they loved it so much and they were also able to get the number one Japanese idol star to say yes to doing it. So we went right from my piano to making the records. So yeah, I have not heard it in English till this week. Me neither. <laughs> neither. I, I hadn't heard the songs in English either. So, and some of the songs weren't on the Japanese demo, That's right, so, so I hadn't heard the songs before last Wednesday when we started putting this on its feet. So. And but, that's the miracle, because <laughs> that's last Wednesday, and we're about to go do this for thousands of people. So, um, I have a home in Japan. I'm married to a very important Japanese star, Yoko Wow, or Wow Yoko-san. My son, my oldest son, knows everything there is to know about Japan and the anime world and martial arts and things like that. And years ago, I was offered Death Note, and I didn't even know what it was, and I didn't even know what manga was. And I took it home, and my son Justin, I said, Dad's been offered this thing called Death Note to do as a musical. And before I can say anything, he said, this is so much hipper than the stuff you do in New York. You need to say yes, and you need to do that. And that's how it started. It's my son's fault. I had a similar experience with my children because they both read Death Note before me. So <laughs> when I told them I was going to do it, they just thought I was the coolest man on the planet for <laughs> once. <laughs> um, but yeah, the stories are fantastic. I mean, both these stories are uh, complete polar opposites to each other, but they're both really interesting and engaging and uh, lend themselves to musicals really well. I've done three now, big mangas there. This is the second one that's coming west. And it's like opening a world of Greek mythology or Norse mythology that you never knew the day before. So all these amazing tales and myths and stories and characters are now in your life. And so the source material is endless. Ooh, well, that's my third one that I wrote. It's apocalyptic. And it's so unbelievably violent <laughs> that you'd have to find a way stylized to do that, you know, because literally people are blowing apart all the time. Uh, What's it called? Fist of the North Star. Okay. Am I directing that one? You're directing that. Great. And when you touch someone in that one... Yeah? They this, blow up? No. Well, y yes. But before they do, you say to them, you're already dead. Wow. That's a, and it's a famous thing in Japan. You could be eight years old or 80. They all know the Japanese version of what I just said. Mm -hmm. It's like da-da-da-da-da-da. And they know what that is. And it's from Fist of the North Star. So, I mean, it's a lot of fun. And uh, you know, it's a big rock score and all that kind of stuff. But we'll have to see how we could pull it off. He could pull it off. He'll figure it out. Well, first, I hope um, to engage the audience and take them on a journey and 
represent this wonderful score and story as best I can and then I hope it has the same trajectory as a Death Note and we'll end up in the West End and Broadway. I concur. Um, the themes are so universal. I think it doesn't matter the culture or the language. It's also, you, you know, I've been lucky enough in my career, my pop career, to write for artists like Whitney Houston and Kenny Rogers. And the key to that was always 8 to 80, which means your kids can love it and your parents can love it. And certainly this show has that. So we hope for the world. That's all we hope for. Music.